Starting out in soft pastels was confusing. Once I had the sticks themselves, finding the tools I needed to get the effects I wanted took a lot of time. To save you time, I want to share the tools that have become my staples, the ones that I use with every pastel piece I create. I'm Hope Martin, and for the past seven years, I've focused on creating realistic, nature-inspired art using soft pastels. Let's talk about my table easel over here. Before I started using soft pastels, I didn't use an easel. I had my artwork on the table, on my lap. Well, with soft pastels, I found putting on an easel gets it up off the table in my lap, keeping those surfaces cleaner. Also, it's more ergonomic so that I can sit upright while I'm working as opposed to looking down here so that I spend less time aching and more time creating. To make my floppy, pigment-covered pastel paper easier to manage, I like to secure it to something stable, something stiff. Tape makes an easily accessible, portable solution. I've used masking tape, painter's tape, and packing tape with good results. When I'm at home, I like a little more no-waste solution, and I've added a sheet of metal to my easel, and then I use ceramic magnets to secure my artwork to it. This makes it easy to reposition the artwork as I'm working on it or switch out projects as I need to without wasting lots of tape. To smear or not to smear? I like to keep the accidental smearing down to a minimum by using a mall stick, a painter's stick, if you will. You can buy ones online that are a yeah, metal rod that telescopes into itself, so they're great for portability, or you can DIY one like I did. This is a hardwood dowel, bit of chamois cloth. You can use other fabrics and string to make a nice mall stick to support your hand while you're working and not smear your paper when you don't mean to. To keep things together and neater, I use a small tray to hold the sticks and pastel pencils I'm working with. I've used empty food containers, small trays, and cardboard boxes. My current palette is made from recycled cardboard I used from a box I got in the mail and is just the right dimension to fit in front of my easel without falling off the table. From cutting my paper to sharpening my pastel pencils, I use this a lot. I prefer this style to a precision knife because I don't want that blade to flex at all. And this one has the benefit of being retractable. So that way I'm less likely to stab myself when reaching into my bag. Rubbing alcohol makes the pastel pigment on your paper spread like paint for just a little while, but it dries faster than water. I like using it for underpaintings as well as settling the pigment into the paper a little bit in between work sessions. Putting it in a bottle makes it portable and also makes less waste than if I use it in a bowl and then swish my brush in it, causing all the pigment to combine with the alcohol. The brush is something really inexpensive. It's a generic brand angled brush for acrylics. And over the years, because I use sanded paper, it has worn down. Like I said, it's taken years. This also has a use later on in the development of my paintings as kind of an eraser to lift off that top layer of pastel when I want to change something. This handy dandy thing is my latest tool acquisition. It's called a Golden Ratio Caliper. This one happens to be 3D printed. I bought it from a little shop off of Etsy and this has saved me so much time when working with a reference. I can easily find where to draw my grid based on the golden ratio onto my paper without measuring. No math involved and I really like that. To continue developing the values in my underpainting, after I've done the wash with the alcohol and the brush, I like to use these bits of foam. This is a piece of pipe insulation cut down. These are both from bits of packing that came with something I ordered. The only downside of these is you might really wanna make sure to check that they don't leave any marks of their own on your paper that you don't want. No matter how careful I am, my pastels get everywhere. To clean up, my favorite thing to use at home is a rag with water and a little cleaner on it, maybe like some soap. If I'm out and about and need something more portable, paper towels and water works, or in a pinch, if you've got them, you can use baby wipes. Before I share my last and favorite tool, I wanna know which one is yours, or if maybe there's one you use, you find indispensable, that I haven't listed. Let me know that in the comments as well. 
as I've accumulated pastel sticks, I've needed an affordable, convenient, space-saving way to carry them. Some sort of pastel carrier. The boxes they come in, you can use for a little time, but for me, I found that they end up tumbling out and I spend more time putting them back in, in those little foam slots than is I really want to. So I have made a DIY pastel carrier out of a Sterilite stack and store, a couple of them sets, and I have a video here that you can watch to learn more about that.